Hey everyone, today I am back doing another video. This video today is going to be a book review on this book right here. This is called Alfred Hitchcock and the Making of Psycho by Stephen Rabello. So this book is obviously about the making of Psycho, but it also gives other information like how the book Psycho was inspired and how the movie was inspired. And it gives also specific play-by-play -play of the script of the movie, scenes that were put in, cut out, and also how much of a controversy this movie was at the time that it was made. There was a lot of controversy with just the story overall how it was too you know too scary or gory and also some of the scenes like the shower scene and the relationship between Norman and his mother just all those sexual things was a major major controversy when this movie was being filmed and as you can see this particular book was made into a movie called Hitchcock you probably heard of it or seen it but this is pretty much the same thing just in a book form now to move on to the review of this book itself I thought it was a very very interesting learning about the making of Psycho, how everything that went into it, especially the famous shower scene, how they filmed that and what I thought was really interesting and what was really great to find out was how they filmed um, the part, you know, where like the camera's like showing the water coming from the shower. And I always wondered ever since I first saw the movie, like how did they film that without getting like the lens of the camera wet? So they actually talk about in this book how they filmed that specific part. And it just has a lot of great information like that, just specifics on how they filmed it and how they were also successfully able to make this entire movie on such a little budget because it was such a controversy. It wasn't given a huge budget to make this film but they made it into an incredible movie with a very little amount of money. Now even though there were things in this book that I really liked, the book overall I wouldn't say it's that great of a book because like as you can see it's a pretty big book and a lot of it is filled with what I would like to call unnecessary information. Like it just I don't even know like it was even hard to follow sometimes in some of the chapters like it just started talking about like all these other like directors producers movies and all these other things that I just didn't think were relevant to the movie Psycho or to Hitchcock like it just didn't make any sense I don't even understand why it was in the book at all but like the very middle of the book I would say when they were actually talking about Psycho and filming it and things like that. That was the really interesting part. That's what I think makes this book really, really good. But other than that, the kind of the middle, or I'm sorry, the beginning and ending, especially the ending, it was just filled with a bunch of information. I couldn't even tell you what, like it just, I don't know. I just didn't think it had anything to do with Psycho and I was just wondering the entire time I was reading it, like why is this in here? This has nothing to do with Psycho, things like that. Now the movie Hitchcock I have not seen but I am very interested. I really do want to check it out, kind of compare it to this book, wondering if it's better than the book. I really hope it is but I would definitely like to see that eventually. So overall if I had to give it a rating on a five star scale I would only probably give it two stars just because even though it was interesting, it was really really interesting learning about the making of Psycho because I love the movie Psycho. I think it's such an amazing movie. I the other stuff just wasn't necessary and I would say a good majority of it is just that unnecessary information so that's why I wouldn't really give it that great of a rating. As it comes to recommending it to you guys I don't really know what to say because of those interesting parts in there about Psycho like if you really enjoy Psycho the movie you might enjoy this book so that kind of makes me want to recommend it but obviously I don't want to because of that um, unnecessary information through the, throughout the entire book. So, I mean, that's my review on this um, Making of Psycho book. So if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and do it yourself. But I would probably recommend watching the movie Hitchcock instead. Maybe that would get a better understanding of the making of Psycho or maybe it would just focus on the making of Psycho and not all this other information. Alright everyone, so that is my book review on Albert Hitchcock and the Making of Psycho by Stephen Rabello. I really hope you guys enjoyed this book review. I hope it helped you out in some way. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if it did. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to a few of my new subscribers today. Mrs. Cherry Berry Blossom, Kiefer B, Mercy L, Fadila A, Andrea L and Nevea H. I want to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I really hope you guys enjoyed this book review. All right everyone, so for now I'm going to get going. Again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.